Hi babies and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lexi Artist and today I am bringing you guys a hair tutorial of all things. Um, I think that was the last video that I posted. It was my hype my IC bob unit. I think that was the last hair related video that I posted. So I'm bringing you guys, I think the second ever, um, well no, third ever unit install here on my channel. If you are wondering how I achieved this luscious burgundy goodness, I did it with no bleach. You heard me right, no bleach whatsoever. Um, it was a one step process from a 1B. Um, I'm gonna take you through. I am gonna show you some of my install and today I tried out the Isha. This is an absolute, I think the Isha Fusion. I don't know where it went. I used the Isha Fusion wig adhesive for this unit. This is my first time trying any of the Isha glues. Um, I think I will do a separate video um, giving my, my full review of the glue itself since this was like a coloring video and I just happened to show my install. So if it's something you'd be interested in, let me know down below. Um, but now, like, after using that, like now I wanna try all the glues. Like I wanna try all of them. Erica J is definitely up next. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about her adhesive. So I definitely wanna give her a try to support black business. Um, but yeah, if you would like to see how I got this unit, this color, stay tuned. To get started, I'm prepping my colors and my bowls. Today, I'm going to be using two boxes of the L'Oreal High Color in the shade Magenta and two boxes of the L'Oreal High Color in the shade Red Hot. Now, in one mixing bowl, I'm going to be mixing one box of Magenta and one box of Red Hot. And the other, I'm going to separate the two in my double-sided bowl. Now, the color combination you do is completely up to you because they have similar shades in this L'Oreal High Color range and honestly, they're all great. The Red Hot happened to come with like an intensifier uh, concentrated color packet with it. So if you're someone that's looking for a really intense red, I would maybe opt out and do three packs of the Red Hot and maybe one of the Magenta. But as you'll see um, as we go along, I used mainly that color with the mix um, magenta and red hot at the roots and then went in and staggered out um, the ends alternating between the magenta and the red hot by itself so at, at this point I'm just putting um, the colors in the bowl and prepping my workstation I use a 40 volume developer but I'm almost positive my developer was bad and it didn't take as well as it could have but it still came out cute nonetheless at this point, I'm going to go ahead and prep my lace, which honestly, I didn't really have to do. I used some cheap uh, Dollar Tree Vaseline, and it, 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 I played myself. <laughs> Long story short, I played myself. But I do recommend doing this. Just go ahead and get like the Vaseline brand Vaseline because it has a thinner consistency, and it'll be easier to wash out of the lace once you finish your coloring process. Because as you'll see in the end, I did end up getting some color on the lace, but it was an area that, you know, was getting cut off in T-Way. I low-key eyeballed my developer volumes, which I do not recommend you do. <laughs> um, I didn't have like a measuring cup and this wasn't a type of bottle where you could pour the developer in the bottle and then pour it in the bowl. So I really did have to guess to me, which, you know, I wasn't far off, but definitely try to be exact if you can with this, because I definitely believe that um, it affected my results some, you know, even though I came out with a great color nonetheless. So as I was saying before, I'm going in with that magenta and red hot mix at the roots, and I'm using my fingers to work that mixture into the strands of the hair, making sure that everyone is coated. And then depending on, you know, where I was, on the mannequin head, I would either take the magenta shade color and use that on the rest of the ends or the red hot. And as you can see, like once the colors develop in the bowl, they look really similar. But magenta definitely has more of a pink tone. Um, and ironically enough, the duo of the red hot and magenta came out a lot brighter in the end than the colors by themselves. And I know that, you know, your roots are going to take quicker anyway, just because that's where the heat is held. And I did not use heat to process this. I just let it sit on the hair for about an hour. Um, and that's not an hour after I colored it. That's like an hour total time. 
because it did take me a little bit of time to get through the hair since it is really thick, um, deep wave hair. If you want more of a natural looking color, I definitely wouldn't take this red all the way up to the roots. I would give yourself maybe a half of an inch of black just to ombre into the red if you want more of like a grown out look. I went ahead and applied my bald cap off camera. Um, if you guys want to see like a full install from me, be sure to let me know down in the comments. But after wiping off the excess spray that I had on my skin, I'm going to take the unit and measure it um, to make sure that I lined everything up correctly and that, you know, it's where I want it on my head before I lay down my first layer of root. And as I mentioned in the intro, I am using the Isha uh, waterproof adhesive. This glue lasted about a week on my skin before it started to slide back, but I can say that it is indeed waterproof. Um, I didn't necessarily like submerge my head underwater, but I definitely wasn't as careful in, you know, keeping the lace sleeve flat and closed off while I was washing my face and things like that throughout the week. Um, and it still did pretty well. I'm blow drying this just to speed up the drying process because I didn't, I noticed that I didn't really uh, apply it completely evenly and I wanted to make sure that that first layer was tacky before I went in with the second. And once I'm satisfied with that, I'm first going to smooth down my cap and melt it into the skin with that first layer. And then I'm taking that same popsicle stick and applying a second layer of adhesive. Once I have my wig placed where I want it, I'm gonna use the back of an eyebrow razor, which is yes, ho. Oh. You can most definitely use a comb for this process, but that's just what I had in front of me. So I'm making sure that I'm smushing the lace into that tacky piece, and I did take it about an inch back into the cap, so um, I'm making sure that all of that uh, is pushed in, and I'm going to use an elastic band and tie my head off and sit under the dryer for I want it for like 10-15 minutes and once I'm done I'm just combing through to make sure that you know no hairs are stuck laying down and it's just lace that is gripped on. I'm showing you guys where the ear tab didn't necessarily um, hold as well. So I am going to go in with a little bit more adhesive on that area specifically just to make sure that I have a nice firm hold. But I'm going to do a quick run through of my roots with a hot comb um, and then I'm going to separate out my edges. I didn't really know like how many baby hairs I wanted. Um, I didn't really need them because this lace melted damn near perfectly even though it was not an HD lace. This is just a regular uh, Swiss brown lace. Um, but I'm taking off the excess. And again, it's up to you whether you use the eyebrow razor or like a small pair of scissors. As you can see here, I use both. I use the eyebrow razor to the majority of the cutting of the lace. And I use those small detail scissors just to go in and clean up, um, you know, any edges that might be lifting or a little bit too far down on my full sheet. So right now, as I'm saying, I'm separating out my edges. I'm going to twist those off. And I'm taking a layer of um, Pump It Up Spritz. It's up to you whether you use Pump It Up Spritz or Got To Be or the new Insta Hold. You know, any hairspray will do. I just felt like I wanted an extra layer of, now I want to say protection, but an extra layer of adhesion so that my hairline was real crispy and, um, you know, I didn't really have to worry about, you know, it melting because, as you all know, hairspray always helps that lace melt. So I'm going back with that elastic band, which is a lifesaver. I picked this up from my local beauty supply store for like a dollar. 
and it's not as thick and stretchy as a regular elastic band it's definitely like more soft so i wouldn't recommend using this as you know a band for your wigs as it's advertised but to lay those edges girl you, you need one of them <laughs> I'm using some foam to help uh, prep uh, the style I'm gonna do. And it's just a basic middle part with curls, you know, nothing too fancy. But I am using the hot comb in those areas just to get um, the base laid before I go in and wet down my hair. I'm using foam to get those edges nice and fleeky. And that's it. I went and added a full face because I think I went somewhere this day. Um, I'm just cleaning up any excess lace at this point. I've already sprayed down my hair. And that's it. The information to this hair and the vendor will be available soon. Make sure to check the description box. And make sure you're following me on Instagram. But this is it for fall. If you do recreate this look, please tag me and stay tuned for part two of this video. Hi.